Did anyone else expect Ben to transform into all of his aliens when they first saw the opening theme of Ultimate Alien? The reason for their absence may have been due to creator's choices or Ben's choices. In this video, we'll explore five of the aliens that didn't make it, discussing why Ben didn't transform into them, and mentioning instances where their species did appear in Ultimate Alien episodes. Let's get to it. Number 1. Upgrade. Upgrade, a galvanic mechamorph from Galvan B, can merge with and enhance technology, reshape his body into tech constructs, and control machines, making him a valuable asset for manipulating technology. Aliens of the same species as him have appeared multiple times in the Ultimate Alien series. The name of the galvanic mechamorph Ben first met was Buzz, and when Ben met him, it was suggested that he resembled Upgrade, whom Ben could transform into in the past. Additionally, Julie's pet, Ship, has made numerous appearances. Unlike other galvanic mechamorphs, Ship could transform his own body into spaceships or weapons without merging with objects, and could even become Julie's armored suit. The design of Upgrade in Ben 10 Ultimate Alien differs from its original appearance in several key aspects. In the original Ben 10 series, Upgrade had a predominantly black body with green lines and patterns across its form, symbolizing the circuitry and digital nature of this galvanic mechamorph. His eyes and the Omnitrix symbol were the only parts of him that glowed green, standing out against the darker body. In Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, Upgrade's design was updated to be sleeker and more detailed. The green patterns on his body became more pronounced and complex, reflecting a more advanced technological appearance. The green color also became brighter brighter and more vibrant, making the pattern stand out more against the black body. Additionally, the Omnitrix symbol, now located on his chest, was updated to match the Ultimatrix design, which was bulkier and had a more intricate appearance than the original Omnitrix. These changes and upgrades design between the two series reflect a general shift towards more detailed and sophisticated character designs in Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, aiming to appeal to an older audience and showcase the evolution of the series' animation style. Number 2. Arctic Guana. Arctic Guana, an alien from the planet X Nelly, possesses cryokinesis, allowing him to shoot freezing blasts from his mouth. He's also agile, has enhanced strength, and can survive in extreme cold. He has been used by Ben 10K in Ultimate Alien, but his appearance was never depicted in Ben 10K's transformation style. Additionally, besides him, two other aliens from the future world of the original series, Spitter and Buzz Shock, also did not appear. As a side note, in the Ultimate Alien series, Ken, who is Ben's future son, does not appear, and within this series, Ken is established as Gwen's cousin. The reason he did not appear could be because he was almost entirely a lesser version of Big Chill, leaving almost no scenes where he could be used. If any viewers are aware of ways in which he is superior to Big Chill, please feel free to comment. Number 3. Frankenstrike Ben never directly transformed into him, but a scientist from the same species as him, Dr. Victor, did appear. Dr. Victor had already been sent to the Null Void by Ben in the past, but in the Ultimate Alien episode of Victor the Spoils, Prince Gula of the country of Zarkovia somehow rescued and had Dr. Victor in storage in a frozen state, intending to use him as a weapon against his country's rebels. However, amidst the turmoil caused by a rift between him and his father, King Zarion, he succeeded in controlling Dr. Victor. Ultimately, after being solidified by attacks from Heat Blast and Gwen, he was arrested by the plumbers. In that episode, Ben could have scanned the DNA of Frankenstrike, but throughout the series, he never transformed into him. Frankenstrike's appearance was not particularly altered. However, Dr. Victor's appearance had been significantly changed. Personally, I prefer the look of Dr. Victor in Ultimate Alien, as it seems more like a fallen villain. Number 4. Blitzwolfer and Snare O. Blitzwolfer, a Loboan from Honor Transil, has sonic howls, enhanced agility, strength, and sharp claws. He's notable for his werewolf like appearance and abilities, including a powerful sonic scream capable of shattering objects. Snare O, formerly known as Ben Mummy, is a Thep Kufan from Anur Kufos. He possesses bandage like tendrils that can extend and reshape enhanced strength and durability. His bandages allow for entanglement, repair, and limited shape-shifting abilities. In the original series, they appeared alongside Dr. Victor to resurrect Ghost Freak, but in Ultimate Alien, they were not seen at all. Despite not being mentioned in the episodes, they strangely appeared in the opening theme. 
It's possible that before the series was created, there was a scenario planned where the trio of the werewolf, mummy, and Dr. Victor, similar to their roles in the original series, would appear. The name changes to Blitzwolfer and Snero occurred in Omniverse, so if Ben had transformed into them in Ultimate Alien, he might have shouted Ben Wolf or Ben Mummy, which would have been quite embarrassing. This might explain why Ben felt embarrassed when Kai mentioned Ben Wolf in Omniverse. And before we go to the last aliens part, I'll show you the two aliens that appeared for only a brief moment. Number one, Rip Jaws. He appeared for only 10 seconds in Perplex Ahedron, yet his design underwent significant changes. Likely, Omnitrix scanned the DNA of Puke, a plumber of the same species as Ripjaws, whom Ben had encountered during a past visit to the planet Piscius. Number 2. Ghost Freak. He appeared for only 30 seconds in The Ultimate Sacrifice. However, since Ben has transformed into Ziziskyer once, Ben has transformed into an Ectonorite a total of two times. Including those transformed into Ectonorites by Ziziskyer, there have been numerous appearances. There were slight changes to the design, such as thicker black lines on the body and the Omnitrix symbol protruding from the body. Let's get to the last alien. Number 5. XLR8. His DNA sample was re-unlocked by Ben 10K when he came to meet Ben from the future. Additionally, at that time, Ben 10K was using the abilities of XLR8 to move at high speeds. The reason he did not appear at all is undoubtedly due to the presence of Fast Track. Indeed, in The Eggman Cometh, there was a scene where Ben is rotating the Omnitrix dial to select an alien, and XLR8 appears on the hologram. However, Fast Track was chosen instead. Previously, when I conducted a survey in my community, the speculation that XLR8 is faster was more prevalent, and I also thought that XLR8 was faster. However, why did Ben choose Fast Track over XLR8? There are two possible reasons. First, Fast Track might have simply been a new alien for Ben, and his curiosity led him to choose Fast Track. Second, within the same episode, Ben and Kevin were conducting combat training and testing Fast Track's powers for practice. Perhaps he deliberately chose Fast Track to verify the results of their training. That concludes the top five aliens in the Ultimate Alien series that Ben never transformed into. Aliens of the same species as these did appear or were projected as holograms. Personally, I wish Zizaskayer had appeared more than just once. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Also, if there are any other aliens that have been projected as holograms aside from XLR8, please let me know in the comment. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.